Hey guys, welcome back to Kitchen Hero. On this episode, we're making something called the Stockholm Syndrome. It's a sandwich that was created in Stockholm, um, Sweden, uh, during a work trip way back in the day. Uh, this is Kristen's uh, idea and creation, so you can give her credit for that. Um, but we're going to show you how to make it. It's super simple. It tastes great. It's easy. You can eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or even a, a late night snack after the bars. So please uh, stay tuned and check out what we're doing. Thank you. Alright, for this sandwich we're going to need a few ingredients. Um, you can see them here below. We'll kind of pan across them and show them. So basically you want some croissants. You want some uh, bacon. Like as we um, mentioned before, check out the video that we uh, previously did on bacon. How to cook it in the oven. Super easy, simple. This is the perfect way to utilize that bacon. We've also got some uh, brie, French brie. And also some um, orange marmalade. You can use whatever kind of... Um, you know, uh, marmalade you want. You could also use some, some of the spicy as well, which is a great touch. And you're also gonna need a little bit of butter for this recipe. All right, guys, as you can see below, these are the ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe. You've got your croissants, cut them in half. Um, basically, we're gonna brown them on a pan uh, on the stove, just to get a little color to them. We've got our uh, crispy bacon. We've got our brie. We've also got our orange marmalade uh, preserve. You can use whatever you want, but um, orange, cherry is great. Even something that's spicy as well will go great with this recipe. And just a little bit of butter here to um, brown the croissants. All right, welcome back. Um, as you can see, we've browned our croissants. Um, you want to do this on a medium to medium high pan um, on your stove. Just a little bit of butter. Um, these croissants are already packed with butter, so they will brown quickly. So just uh, keep an eye on them because uh, there's not a lot of wiggle room. It's going to either be almost there or burnt. So just watch, keep an eye, watch your eye out for it. Now also, once we're at this point, you should really turn on your oven to about 350 degrees, 375, um, and then we're just going to warm these sandwiches at the very end in the oven. So at this point, we're going to take our orange marmalade, and mix it up here a little bit. We're just going to put a little bit on each side. You don't want to overdo it on this. This is just a little hint of flavor. Um, you're not going overboard though. Okay, so now that we've got the orange marmalade on both sides, we're going to take our bacon. I'm going to put a piece of bacon on each, two pieces of bacon on each bottom of the croissant. It's nice and crispy. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take our brie here. And this is the outside of the brie, the rind. This is perfectly fine to eat. Adds a little bit more of a flavor. We want bigger pieces for this. So we're going to cut it in half. And then you're going to cut maybe about a quarter inch piece. I'm going to put it on top. And the cool thing about this sandwich is, like I said before, this is something that was created in Stockholm. Um, basically, Kristen was working there in, in a hotel and they didn't have anything to eat and they had these ingredients in the fridge and kind of put it together and this is what they came up with. And like I said, it's, it's super rich, it's indulgent, but it's a great little um, you know treat to have. At this point, like I said, it's super easy. Look what, look, look what we've done. Basically, we put orange marmalade on a croissant, bacon, cut up some brie. Now, at this point, we want to kind of warm up the brie just a little bit. So, we're going to put these bottoms on a sheet pan here like this. Just going to put it in the oven for about two to three minutes just to get it a little bit warmer. All right, guys. <clears throat> Welcome back. In the oven for about two to three minutes. It's got a little bit firm from, you know, being hard to now it's getting soft warmed up a bit. And literally, this is how simple this is. Just gonna take a croissant. Watch out. It's gonna be hot still, so be careful. And basically, all you're doing is putting the top on and you're done. You got a sandwich that's truly, you know, special when it comes to taste and flavor. It's super simple. Something you can make in big batches, and this is what we talked about in the past before. Um, in the previous videos, you've seen that we've uh, you know, showing you some techniques, some tools you should get, you can build off of this. So if you want to change this around a bit, you can do it on your own. Um, you can also make a BLT out of this, um, change up, like I said, the cheeses, you can change up the jam. Um, if you want to put ham instead of bacon, it turns out great as well. This other one over here. And there you go. It's something that's European in thought, flavor, and taste. 
super simple. All right, guys, as you can see, that was super easy. It's definitely an impressive sandwich for how few steps there are. You've already seen our videos before how to cook bacon. Um, you know, you've already got half of it right there. Cutting up a little bit of brie, you know, um, toasting a croissant. Um, really, all you got to do, um, take you five minutes to do this. You're going to have a crowd pleaser. Um, you know, every bite's going to be a little bit different. So you get a little sweet, sour, a little bit tangy, a uh, little buttery rich. So like I said, each bite is going to give you something a little bit different and make you kind of think as you're eating it, it's going to wake up your taste buds as well. Also, you've seen us how to cook bacon, eggs um, in the past videos. So please, you know, look at those again. You add all these together, you get a great brunch or a great uh, breakfast for your family on the weekends, especially holidays. You can knock out a bunch of these at one time, um, cut them up in you know squares. You've got a little bit of for everybody. Um, like I said, you don't need to make one for everybody because they're super uh, rich over the top, but a little bit of taste will definitely impress your friends and family. Uh, you know, please like and subscribe, share this video, and any kind of suggestions you guys have for recipes you want to see, please leave in the comments below. Thank you. Uh, check out my. Um, you know ingredients that we've used below also any of the tools we use as well And if you uh, see anything you like, please uh, purchase it from my Amazon affiliate account. Thank you guys so much. Have a great time We'll see you next time. Thanks